We've all heard the term renovictions before and recently the city of Hamilton put some obstacles in the way of landlords kicking people out of their homes. And now there are some city councillors who want to follow in the footsteps of that city just as data is showing us that the problem is getting even worse. What was it like for you to have to go through this? Very stressful, very worrisome. Earl LeBlanc had been living in his East York apartment for 10 years before he was told he had six weeks to get out in 2019. The building owner had plans to refurbish the place and ultimately up the rent. You've been there 10 years. That's very little notice to get out of your apartment. Uh, oh, yeah, big time. And, then, and uh, you know, like I'm an older guy now, I'm a senior, and uh, so it sort of sends you into panic mode. Thousands in Toronto are constantly finding themselves fighting against renovations. When a landlord uses an N13 notice to force tenants to vacate the rental unit so a major renovation can take place. Tenants can try to fight the matter with an appeal to the province, but some city councillors are looking for a way to make sure the landlords think twice. There needs to be a step somewhere where we can move in between the landlord and tenant board and that tenant that provides a higher test. That step could come in the form of a new bylaw, similar to the one just passed by the city of Hamilton, where a renovation permit would be needed after the eviction notice has been issued. The proof must be there when you try to kick somebody out that they actually are going to need a building permit. It's going to be extensive renovations to the point where you can't be in your apartment anymore. A new study just released from Acorn Ontario shows just how much renovations are on the rise in the province. From less than 300 in 2017 to more than 1,013 filed in 2022. That's just the number that actually make it to the landlord and tenant board. Acorn points out that people are often harassed and intimidated until they choose to vacate the premises, not realizing the avenues they might have available. How much did you know about your rights when this happened? Zero, to be honest. I, to be honest, I didn't know any. I never heard of a renovation. This is part of a much larger measure that the City of Toronto is going through to try and protect affordable housing in this city. There were questions about jurisdiction when Hamilton was going through this. That is bound to come up as this process continues here. Mark McAllister, City News.